Uh, good morning troops. It is quarter past nine and we're back on the trail. Whew. First plan today is to reach Surleys, which is only 10 kilometres away and we're going to play by ear. Barrasdale Bay is 25 kilometres away, which is less than yesterday's trip, but we're going into the rough bounds of Neudart today, so be less tracks, in fact, once we get off this track, that is it. And it'll be very rough terrain. The weather today is a bit overcast. The clouds are touching the peaks. And there was some rain overnight last night. Oh, so, we shall push on. Stop on you'd want to uh, fall on either, it's a bit of a god so uh, do you want to have a look at the map here? Right, there's a wee fork in the path here. You can follow the track around that way, or you can just make a short climb up to the path out, so I'm gonna follow you in that way. Right folks, we're now on the path to Surleys. We've got three and a half kilometres on the clock since leaving the Boffy and uh, that's just been on the go for an hour on the nose. So what I'll do is I'll we'll make some progress on this track first and I'll bring you back further along. Alrighty folks, what we have here is this path here is for the Munro baggers doing the Skurnakish Ridge. For us, we want to cross this little stream and this will take us to Surleys, which is only about four kilometres away. This really is a stunning location. There is some opportunities for odd pitch here or there. But this is beautiful, so peaceful, very remote. And this is the lower down lock, which again is rather stunning. Not bad at all. Better catch up Ian. We've just come to a sort of junction in the path and there's a little cairn and then it's marking another cairn over the river and the path goes up to the crag. So we're just checking the map and it seems correct um, because there's also a path that goes that way as well. So this does seem right. I'll mark the grid reference in the bottom corner of the screen as I always do. <laughs> yeah, you can see here why the the path switches across the river because this would be a pig to negotiate. So uh, yes, you definitely want to cross the river there. And that behind me there is Loch Nevis. So now it's all downhill to Surleys Boffy. Let's go. Well, we've got 10 kilometres on the clock, but Surleys is still a bit to go. So uh, yeah. Probably more like 12, 13 kilometers.
course this is Sully's Buffy in a rather remote and desolate area. It's very small and dank but it's got its charm as well. Yeah, she so got a big sleeping platform there, that would sleep what, five, six folk at push? Got a little bench here. Bunk, oh, that's just storage. Yeah. <laughs> and a little fireplace. You could probably find plenty of uh, driftwood. I wonder what that big Van Gogh bag is. Somebody coming back. Strange. Sleeping bag? Right. Oh, it's a well earned break. That took us 4 hours and 15 minutes to get here. So it's time for some lunch. The time is half one. For lunch, I've got some oat cakes, tomato puree, some Primula cheese. And I've got a couple of baby bells in there as well just to bulk it up. Oat cakes is going to be my staple lunch. No mackerel wraps this time. Ian, almost forgot to mention you are 50 today. Indeed I am. Happy birthday. Thank you. And how does it feel to be here on your 50th? Magical. Is there anywhere better you could be? Well, it's hard to beat. This is right up there. This yeah. is amazing. It's dry, maybe not sunny, but it's, it's a good temperature. I just listen to all the, the birds and everything, and the sea, and it's, ah, it's wonderful. Yeah, mm. quite special. Happy birthday, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Fucking funny. Ah. <laughs> right, folks, after an extended lunch at Surly's, that's us back on the go. I tell you what, though, I was tempted to stay there, but just didn't have enough distance on the clock, I think. Uh, you can do the section to Kintail in four days, but it might take us five, the way it's looking. But we'll see where we end up tonight, but it's uh, three o'clock at the moment. So, we would like to sort of finish about six o'clock and that doesn't give us enough time to get to Barrasdale Bay. We are currently having a bit of a nightmare here. We're trying to get over the marshland to Karnak Bridge and it's just so wet underfoot and there's like really deep bits and you just can't make a direct line straight for the bridge so we're going up, down, across, back uh, you really don't know which is the best way and Ian's just about lost his trekking pole there You think you find a a bit of solid ground and then your foot just disappears. It is like little tufts of islands. Aye, islands in the stream. Right, oh, we've made it. There's a new Karnak Bridge. I think that went in in the summer of 2019. But this section here. If I had any tips, I'd give you one, but it's a nightmare. Uh, particularly if you're wearing boots and you try to keep your feet dry. Wasn't such an issue for me with the trail runners, but uh, I think Ian's still got dry feet, which isn't too bad. Anyway, this big scary looking mountain is Ben Aden. It is a really fine corbett, one I've still to do. But I'm just going to catch up with Ian and I shall bring you back later on. Right, this track is not on the map, it looks new, you can tell it's been dug up here, so uh, that's River Karnak there. Don't know how far this is going to take us but I shall report back if it is useful to us or not. Right, well this new track, as you can see just in front of Ian there, has petered out, a bit of mud there, and now just back onto the usual terrain. A kilometre long roughly. Yeah, about a kilometre. Uh, better than nothing. Right, let's let's roll. Alright folks, we are puggled, so we have uh, 
found somebody to pitch right under Ben Aden. So uh, yeah, you can just see there, I'm just about to pitch. Ian's just in front of me and the mighty Ben Aden. It would have been nice to have got a bit more distance in the route, but our route takes us in and around there and up over the pass. This up here is Lunvin, or affectionately known as Lunibin. So, yeah, we've stopped a little bit short, but Barrisdale Bay, Barrisdale Bay is way out of reach tonight. It's just turned five o'clock. Well, it's amazing what you find in Scottish wilderness. <laughs> just collecting water, I came across this little bad boy. It is a Nikon D3200. Obviously it's goosed, but I have where is it? Salvaged the memory card. I'm not going to stick this in my camera, but what I'll do is when I get home, I'll fire this in the computer and see what's in it. And I might be able to at least reunite the photos to the owner by the power of social media. Uh, I'll stick it on Twitter and the old Instagram and some of the Facebook groups. Good morning campers and welcome to day number four on the Cape Raft Trail. Oh. <laughs> it is a bit more breezy than it was last night. The tent is bone dry. It is looking a little bit dark like it could rain though, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but aye, let's get some breakfast and get on the go. It's actually getting lighter. It is. It's not that <laughs> bad. Like yeah, it's definitely noticed a difference from uh, the last few days. Right, oh, it's just gone eight o'clock and we're back on the move. So, I don't know if I mentioned last night, but today we would like to get to Kinlochurn and maybe set up camp around there. And then day five would get us to Kintail. That is the plan. It was looking rather dark and ominous, so I wouldn't be surprised if we got a few dots of rain, but hopefully it holds out. And I got a nice little message come through in the Garmin Inreach Mini from the missus. So that was a nice little thing to wake up to this morning. I'll reply later. Well, we're slowly making our way to the crux of the rough bounds of Neudart. We go up past Lunivin, or Lunvin as it's properly known as, and once we get past that and drop down to Barrisdale Bay, that's us uh, away from a lot of the uh, more rough terrain. So this is definitely a pocket of Scottish wilderness. It is so remote. Wedged in between the mountains. Cracking camping opportunities here. In fact, somebody's left a little fire pit there. This is stunning. Got a big cliff right in front of us there. We'll swivel around. Private beach. Private beach. <laughs> Hi. Superb boss. Right, folks, we're pioneering a new route here. <laughs> Being hardened hill walkers, that never dies in you. We're trying to sort of cut an angle from the river. So, The path sort of sticks to the river and you do a dog leg round here and up and you pick up a path. 
here. So what we're doing is we're trying to cut an angle, and we've sort of decided on a route that's going to weave in and out these crags, and then up here, and then we'll pick up the path. So it shaves off about a kilometre and a bit, and it also just saves a little bit of reascent as well. So we'll report back once we pick up the path if it's worthwhile doing or not. Oh, Look at this in here. That's seriously rugged. The path that we join actually does go in that way. So you've got Ben Aden still here. This here is the Munro Garrick, I believe. Down there is where we saw those nice camping spots. And we've just got this little bit here to go up. And we should just, there may be another rise behind that that we're not aware of. But the path will be up there somewhere. So this does, so far, seem to be a good option. Alrighty folks, update. We're on the path. That is a worthy shortcut. No scrambling, a couple of crags to be even out of, but nothing major. And it just seems to cut an angle perfectly. Uh, you can see this here. We went round to the side of that and we just came right up. If you want to sort of copy this, you could go to the other side of that and up, but it seems to save a lot of tax. Down there, that's just bogland, so it feels like we've saved a bit of time and distance. I'm happy with that, definitely. You happy, Ian? Most well, certainly am. Righty, oh folks, we're at the top of the pass. This here will take us all the way down to Barrasdale Bay. Well, we just had our first glimpse of Barrasdale Bay, just here. This hill here is Ben Screel. My friend John, he completed on that, it was a good good weekend that. But uh, yeah, we've not got far to go. Gonna have a, 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 an extended lunch down there. So let's go. All right, well, we're pushing on from the little Boffy campsite there. There's a really nice strip of land here that you could camp on. No, no but camping. They're asking not to camp here. I don't know how they can stop you, though. Probably a shotgun. Aye, ah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Bit harsh, but... Hey-ho. This is a nice stop for a spot of lunch. I'll swing the camera around and show you the views. There you go. That's uh, Loch Urn. And then if I swivel around this way, you've got the mighty Larvin, which is up here. I'll just zoom in a bit for you. There you go, there's Larvin. Cracking looking Munro. This path just keeps on going and going. I put my big camera away because if I'm not going to do any more vlogging, I'm going to get this out of the way. But I just want to have a moan. So here I am having a moan. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, you have to climb up and over that to avoid the cliffs. And now I've got another 100 meter climb up this one. But I think when I get up and over this, I should finally just be a general coast walk to Kinlochurn. All day fly up coming up. Yes. 
Então é certo. <risos> que é o que foi Em inglês. Eu just paid for you saw the shower, ten pound, best ten pound I've ever spent. Wash my scans, my socks. I think I've got a suspect tick on one of my bum cheeks. I'm not going to show you, don't worry. We're going to have to take a photo with my phone just to double check. <laughs> oh, I don't know how big that out if it's a tick. All right, folks, we have landed on our feet. The estate have just opened this up for the new season. I have a cancellation, so they've given us this little cottage for the same price as a B&B &B for the night. Um, that's the living area there. And we've got the kitchen behind it. And I'll show you upstairs. And this is my room. There's two twin rooms. And there's a double through the back as well, so this is fantastic. Here's the bathroom. So a big shout out to the Kilmokurn B&B and Tea Room for this. Um, they've recently just opened and their aim is to obviously provide food and drink for Cape Raft trailers, uh, Munro baggers that come down here or anybody that's just looking for an escape. Uh, so definitely recommended. But uh, I'm just going to enjoy the evening and I'll bring you back tomorrow on the trail. Cheers, see you then.